proof the cactus plants do in fact grow in Ohio. I think these are called rabbit ear cactus because they look like little rabbit ears, I guess. I don't know. Aren't these beautiful? This cactus actually does need water. Um, it needs heat and it needs water. And once it gets the right combination of both, it just freaking explodes. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, look at these. Look at these. They're beautiful. Look at all those. And the weed. <laughs> There's a weed in there, which I am not going to go in and pull right now because fun fact about these particular cactus plants, they don't really look like they have spines. But let me tell you something, these freaking little spines are deadly. Not like deadly like they'll kill you, but they are invisible. And you, so you can't see them. Like when you get stuck, you can't see them. Oh, there's a bug. A little bug. See, that's one that's getting ready. Getting ready to open probably tomorrow. Aren't these gorgeous though? Look at these. Look at these. But the spines, let me tell you. They're, they're in there. They're like little hairs. And they're miserable. They're horrific. You have to wear the thickest, biggest gloves. And this cactus spreads, by the way. Like I started with just a little bit. And I think the critters do this. Like they'll pop off little pieces and they root. See? Like when I'm wearing gloves, I'll probably turn that one over because it looks like that side needs to go down. But look, that one's got a little ear on it. Aren't they cool? They're all over the place. And they're all the way back in there. All the way back in there. I've got a couple of different things going on back there. Most of that is oregano. This is all oregano right here. This is what oregano looks like. These flowers will open up and turn like bright, bright pink. And the bees and pollinators absolutely love them. And I've got tons of it. Look at this. Stuff spreads. Nobody told me that. And it spreads. Look at all that. I mean, hell, while we're at it, we might as well just look at, we might as well look at plants. So yeah, that's all oregano. Here's the herb garden. I don't know why that parsley turns yellow. I don't know if that's because it gets burnt, if it gets too hot, I don't know. What did I call that? Yeah, that's parsley. That's parsley too. That one's doing really well. The sage, not so much. I think it's too hot over here for the sage. It's not liking it very much. The dill is absolutely going bonkers. Popping up through the fence. See that? Looks like they're um, getting ready to uh, flower. What is that there? Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a flower, yeah? And then, oops, and then the, um, the time is doing phenomenal. And I have some work to do. Looks like chipmunks have been in there. Got to fix that. I mean, it'd be hard for them to tunnel around in there because don't forget, this is all, that's tires underneath there. It's like three tires. So, but... They can still get through, but I'll fix that. I'll put some crushed red pepper in there. They don't like that. So yeah, cactus in Ohio. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. And then this is a form of sedum and it has also exploded all over my driveway. 
and you don't even need to do anything with this stuff. Like literally, you just freaking ignore it, and this is what happens. It's beautiful. It spreads, and there's a huge weed under there. That's a is that plantain? I think this is yeah. I think this is plantain. This is actually a medicinal plant. If you ever get like a bad cut and you're bleeding, if you live in an area where plantain grows, you can pull this out and um, grind it up and make a paste, like rub it around with a couple of rocks and make a paste and put that on where you're bleeding. And it's, I think it's like a partial antibiotic actually. So. Of course, once everybody understands exactly how to use frequencies and that you can just like, you know, heal yourself, basically, or use some tools like from Holotech. But yeah, this stuff, um, the stuff that's on this earth is amazing. We think of this as a weed, but it's actually a, um, it's like an antiseptic. The Amish use this. I have a jar of it in the house. Um, they make like a cream out of it, but if you're in a bind and you need to, let me just pull, let me just pull this leaf off so you can see what it looks like. This is what, this is what plantain looks like. And from the middle of the plant, sometimes you'll get, um, it's little, little, not spikes, that's the wrong word. I don't know what to call it, but the middle of the plant sprouts like what's actually a little flower, but it's not like a flower flower. It's not like this kind of flower, you know what I mean? But just use the leaves, just grind them up, make a paste, and then um, you can put that on like a cut or a wound or something. So I think a critter has been sleeping in here. Either that or these are just, like, big and heavy. But it's probably a critter. But as long as we're looking at flowers, we can go and look at some other ones, too. One last look at the cactus. Cactus in Ohio. Is that not gorgeous? Aren't they gorgeous? They're just freaking gorgeous. Love them. And it looks like those back there will come up a little bit later. That oregano is really trying to take over that damn cactus and I gotta get in there and fix that because I would rather have the cat I'd rather have the cactus than all that oregano look at all this oregano ridiculous so let's go look at some other flowers shall we because I've actually got some cool stuff this year so I have no idea what this is called but it's a different kind of succulent than the sedum that I showed you on the other side of the driveway. So get this. So this stuff, look at how beautiful that is. And it flowers. And it spreads. And it comes back every year. It's amazing. And it grows anywhere. Look, it grows on freaking rocks, right? I've got it in a lid, in an old lid. There's some back there on the rocks. That's, this is sedum, okay? Actually, this is, this is a good view, right? It's different. It's different from the sedum. Look at how this stuff lays. It's so graceful with these little star flowers. Okay, so check this out. I brought this with me from Texas. I lived in Texas for many years, and this stuff, I had it down there it's from somewhere. I don't know if I had it in the backyard or in the house. I don't remember, but I brought it, I brought some with me up to Ohio. Not a lot. Like, probably nothing larger than this container right here, right? And I started breaking some of these off. And you can literally break them off and drop them and walk away. And they spread. And now I have it all over. I have it here. I have it... Um, up front over there. We'll go up front here in a minute. I have no idea what it's called, but isn't it cool? With these little star flowers? Look at these. But that's from Texas. I never expected it. Oh, there's weed. I never expected it. And a really large, loud car. I never expected it to pop back up. 
this year. I never did. I, here in Ohio, I never did. It was like an accident. I dropped it outside, and the next year it came back and it spread. I was like, oh, this is fantastic. More sedum. Those are going to be the most beautiful burgundy daylilies. They're going to be beautiful. They're going to be beautiful. All right, let's go see some more. This is purple basil, and this is what the flowers look like on purple basil. I mean, they're like partial flowers, right? Because you actually don't want your basil to flower. I mean, I know that sounds horrible, but if you're going to keep it and use it, which I do, you don't want it to flower. This is what they look like when they first start budding. Wait, I can't see because of the camera and the glare. So I'm going to... You want to pop that off. <laughs> okay? You don't want it to flower because then it's going to put all of its energy into the flower and not enough energy into the plant. So the stuff that's like the flowers that are already here, I'm just going to leave them. They're not hurting anything at the moment, but you want to get those bigger buds off quickly if you can. This is a butterfly plant, and I've already had one bloom on it. It's gone now, but I got some more, getting ready. That's not bloomed, that's just getting ready. This thing is gorgeous. So I'm hoping to attract some butterflies here this year. And you can see, this is what it looks like. And, it, and it's a really bright orange. It's really, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. That's a butterfly plant. That's cilantro, which is bolting, which is mildly irritating. So when I see flowers on that, I'm going to have to start pulling them off. These are coral bells. And this, this plant, I started out with like this little teeny tiny cup of coral bells, put it in here, and it's spread. And this is what they look like when they're getting ready to bloom. Now, these are tricky. I'll tell you why. They turn into this beautiful, like, pinkish, whitish color. But they fry really easily. Like, they fry really easily. And I don't have this in a good spot. It needs a hell of a lot more shade than what it's getting right now unfortunately but we'll see I missed it in the early morning so well that was rude <sighs> the road up the street up the road for me is closed all the traffic's being diverted so anyway see look here's brand brand new brand new growth this thing attracts a lot of bugs. I don't know why. This is lavender. Love it. This also attracts pollinators. And I've never had a lavender plant before. So I'm really excited about this this year. It's a thirsty little plant. I tell you what. That's what it looks like before before they pop and after they pop. So I'm really I'm really trying really hard to attract some pollinators this year and I even tucked a little butterfly house away up on this old this is an old antique ladder. Oh by the way, there's the avocado plant. Remember that pit that I planted? I did a video on that. Yeah, hello things going bonkers, right? This is another, oh, there's a little itty bitty bee on there, see him? This is a little itty bitty, uh, yeah, it's an itty bitty bee, but it's also an itty bitty bush. It's either, it's either blueberry or raspberry. I don't remember. I bought two. This is the one that didn't really make it, but it's hanging. We'll see. Birdhouse. And then I tucked a butterfly house. Let me see if I can Oh, there's another type of sedum. That's a bigger one, though. And that one will have big, huge pink flowers. Um, 
See? See the butterfly house? Because they find like nooks and crannies, right? So I figured that might be a good spot if I got plants for them. This is my spider plant that's not doing well at all. It gets, it, it got, it got burned. I'm hoping as the summer goes on it will do better because this half of the porch actually does get some pretty decent shade. So this bush, I tell you what, I got two of these. This bush is amazing. These, I have no idea what kind of bush this is. These smell amazing. Like as strong as honeysuckle, but it's not honeysuckle, right? But it's that strong. They're amazing. But it also attracts a lot of bees. I've learned to live peacefully with the bees right now, actually. There's my aloe vera. That one's not doing well. Too much heat, too much heat, too much heat. This was... Oh, lavender. I mean, it was gonna be. And then it got drowned out. And then it got burned. Remember I said it was wet and then hot and then wet and then hot? So, he got drowned out. This is... Something in the onion family. Oh, are we getting another flower? We are. We're getting another flower, maybe. Mmm, doesn't look like it's doing that good. That's okay. Wait, 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 what's coming up under here? Yeah, this will be fine. This is like, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell this is. I have no idea. I don't even remember where I got it. But it's the coolest freaking plant. Because you'll get this big, long stalk coming out, right? From the inside. I don't know if those are going to be leaves or a flower or what. That's definitely a flower, but I don't know what happened to it. I have no idea what happened to that. It's not supposed to, it's not supposed to be limp like that. I think something's actually been munching on it. But anyway, but that's okay. It's fine. It'll just keep coming. It just keep I, it dies kind of over the winter cuz I can't manage to keep it watered. And it comes back. It keeps coming back and it multiplies. See the little ones down there? So this year, this is the last of I used to have a bunch. And this is the last of it. So this year I have to make sure I grab some of the smaller ones, put them in their own pots, and move them so that I can actually keep this plant in my house, right? Because it's cool. It's a cool plant. More sedum. This was an old wheelbarrow that I got like at a garage sale or something, and the wooden part of it completely fell apart. The birds are so mad at me right now because I'm like right next to the feeder and they're like, woman, we can't get to our food. Move. <laughs> um, but yeah, see them. This stuff explodes, man. You don't have to do anything with it. This doesn't need to be in there, so I'm going to pull that sucker out. Come here, you. <clears throat> Oops, almost knocked me on my ass. Okay. Here's more of it. See, some of it fell and there's more and there's a rosemary that did not make it through the winter unfortunately so and then I got these guys all over the place I'm kind of looking for that little finch that's making all that noise it's the tiniest little bird making all that noise you wouldn't even believe actually that might be a chipmunk or a squirrel um I got these daylilies just rampant all over the property. All over. Like, literally all over the property. They're all over the front of my house. They're over on the side. Those are a different variety that are going to come up in there. I got them over there. And then I've also got them out front. See? Quick shot. I've got them out front in the ditch. Here in Ohio, they're called ditch lilies. I have no idea what this is, but it's beautiful. It's a little teeny tiny little flower. I think these are, I want to say these are called paintbrushes. I think. I'm not sure. But isn't that the cutest little flower? 
got two stems. There's another one. And they've got fuzzy. Look, they got a fuzzy stem. Oops. See it? And I actually have these just randomly in my yard. Like if I did not cut my, if I don't cut my grass for a couple of weeks, these things just randomly pop up in yellow and red. They're so cool. I pick them when they're out in the yard, but this is not. This is underneath a tree out front. Well, what's left of a tree out front, so I'm going to leave it alone. These are some kind of lilies. I have absolutely no idea what variety. And unfortunately, they do not spread. I don't know why. But I've got them here underneath this lilac tree. And they seem to like it. They also like a lot of water. Aren't they beautiful? No idea what kind of lily this is. I don't know what they're called. I have no idea. This year, they're, this year they're, they're flower. All of them, every single stalk, I think, is flowering. And I've actually already cut one. I pulled it so that I could put it up on the porch. I mean, at some point, I probably could get in there and, like, see if they'll split. I don't know if they will, if they're bulbs or what. I don't remember. These were given to me. The, the, the bulbs or the tubers, whichever they are. But they like it in here for some strange reason. And then back in here, this is not flowering at the moment, but... This stuff is really cool. I don't remember what it's called, but it's got little tiny white flowers on it, and it's a wonderful ground cover, but it needs shade. It like literally only really does well in the shade. So, no idea what it's called. I'm bad like that. I'll just be like, oh, this is cute, and I don't even know what it's called. And then I, f I either throw away the, if it comes with a, you know, a little thing. You know those little things, those little markers that tells you what it is? I throw those away. I'm really bad about it. So I don't know what that is, but really nice little white flowers. Alright, so hopefully it'll be a little more quiet. This is in the back. This is underneath my walnut tree. See, that's my walnut tree. This is the one that I brought back, um, brought back to life using hollows. Not even kidding. The black hollows from Holotech. I charged um, the mulch with it. And I may have actually buried one. I don't remember. If I don't have one buried, then I charged the mulch, the rocks, and the water. I mean, this thing, this thing was dead. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Like, see how there's still some bare branches? Let me tell you something, that whole tree, that whole tree was bare one year. Like I, oh, oh my God. I think that's a red-shouldered hawk, either flying or up in that tree. Okay, no, it's flying. Um, and I'm not gonna try and move this around to catch it because it's too far up in the sky. But that sounds awfully close. That sounds closer than... You hear it? That sounds closer than the one that's flying. So, I don't know. Anyway, back to the tree. It was... I thought it was a goner. I thought... I was pissed. I was like, I can't believe I'm going to have to take this down. Right? Because I had to take one down back in this area when I first moved here. And it was filled with um, carpenter ants. It was bad. It was bad, 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 bad. Like, when it went over... And it was a huge tree. Like three people had to, it took three people to put their arms around it. It was huge, right? It was a walnut tree, but it was dead. We had to take it down in order to put the garage, the, it's a pole barn actually, but to put that. And when it fell over, oh my God, it was like black liquid poured out of it. It was all ants. It was bad, bad, bad. So I was like really upset with this one. And I thought, you know what? I am not taking that sucker down. So I got the black hollows and... I charged some rocks and the mulch and the water 
that I watered watered it with just a little bit I didn't do it consistently right because it gets rain you don't water huge trees like this and I kid you not it was bare one year and this year it's looking the best it has looked in probably the last five years my dad even looked at it last year and I'm like hey look at the walnut tree he goes yeah it's looking pretty good and I'm like yeah I know I said I said guess what I did I said I put I put a hollow down by it I put one of those black holograms my dad knows what the black holograms are right I'm like, I put one of those black holograms down there. I think I buried one, actually. He looked at me. He did a double take. He looked at me. He goes, no kidding. I'm like, yeah, Dad. <laughs> They're no joke. Anyway. So, yeah, that's my black walnut. And I've got some random stuff. I think I've got, like, those are some kind of lilies back in there. But they should have flowered by now, so I don't know what's going on. My clematis is done already for the year. Um, so anyway, back to this cool stuff. I got to get in here and pull weeds. This is creeping thyme. So this is different from the German thyme that's in the, in the herb garden, right? This stuff, as long as you can keep it from being choked out by this stupid stuff. This stuff drives me nuts. Um, this stuff also spreads it's wonderful and it draws pollinators but like I said you got to keep it from being choked out like this stuff is trying but I'm not gonna let it and I don't care that I'm just pulling leaves right now because it's the leaves that draw the sunlight so if there's no leaves for photosynthesis to happen then you can at least control it a little bit right anyway all these mushrooms, these are, I think these are actually probably edible, but I don't know enough about mushrooms to, I'm just not even, and animals eat them, right? So, I mean, I leave them out here for the animals. But yeah, so this is, and it smells delicious. Like you could literally use this in your food. It smells wonderful, but I don't for some reason. I think I just forget about it, right? I forget that I have it. Oh, I gotta pull weeds. I've got random chives that are back here. That actually, they're actually kinda done. I gotta start cutting them. I'm freezing them, putting them away. And there's some grass that's trying to come up in there, so we gotta stop that. Hmm. So yeah, I think that's all I got for you. As far as flowers, for right now. Some stuff I leave in here, on pur I'll leave on purpose, like the buttercups. This is what you call a buttercup. And it's on this like ridiculously huge stem and plant for these little tiny little flowers. And I had a, a bunch of them, like I had a bunch right here. Like it was like speckled with yellow. It was really pretty. And then I pulled some of them. Ooh, that's a really bad weed. I gotta get in there and get that. That's gonna be a gloves and boots with a shovel removal. That's what that is. That sucker's huge. So, I think I might actually just go ahead and do a little bit of work right now. While I'm out here, I think that's all I got for you guys. So that's all my flowers. If I find any more, I'll let you know. Have a great weekend. See ya.